Newborn skulls are made up of multiple flexible plates rather than a solid piece because our brain grows rapidly in the first nine to 12 months. Over time, the individual bone plates fuse together to form what's called a standard skull. Sadly, however, sometimes these pieces don't grow together correctly. They may fuse early, leading to craniofacial conditions such as metopic synostosis, abnormal fusion of these plates. And they can cause a ridge down the center of the forehead or the eyes, even make the eyes look too close and almost give them a triangular look. And this can also cause developmental delays, learning, auditory, and visual problems, including mental and physical challenges as well. And these can range from minimal to severe, depending on the patient and the deformity. So fortunately, plastic surgeons can treat and repair many of these craniofacial deformities. But how do surgeons know when to operate and what to recommend for future surgical treatment? This has been the dilemma throughout the beginning of craniofacial surgery to now. So this study looked at the severity of these deformities and linked it to the severity of neurologic dysfunction. They tested the auditory functioning uh, from moderate to severe deformities, com comparing it to a control. And what they discovered was that in severe craniosynostosis, these patients had a significantly compromised language capability, including neurologic functions. The takeaway is that if you have an infant that has an abnormal fusion of one of these bony plates, they should see a craniofacial surgeon for early surgical intervention. This study strongly suggests that the severity of the physical abnormality is linked to the severity of the developmental delays and sensory problems. The relationship should help plastic surgeons and pediatricians determine the urgency of surgical intervention. For questions on how to manage these significant problems, including craniofacial surgery, start a conversation with a board-certified plastic surgeon on plasticsurgery.org. For the latest on how plastic and reconstructive surgery is helping to treat pediatric patients, read the most up-to-date science on prsjournal.com.